The win slash encore day two, $600 buy-in, $150,000 guaranteed. They crushed the guarantee, over $250,000 in the prize pool, over $50,000 for first. Let's get that money. Let's get that trophy. All tournament dealers, finish the hand you're on and hold up, please. All right, all tournament players, we are in the money. We lost two players that came from the same table. We are in the money. We are going to break a table. A lot of small ball, little pots, aggression, really in the zone, chip up to around 180,000 when the bubble bursts. We're in the money with blinds at 2,000, 4,000, 4,000. Big blind is sitting out. He just didn't even show up for day two. Still made the money, still has a huge stack. Must be nice. I'm under the gun with Ace King offsuit. I make it 9,000. Big stack on my left, flat calls. Small blind shoves all in for 63,000. Started the hand with around 200,000, so it's an easy ISO all in. Flatter folds. Small blind has King Nine offsuit. Not a recommended shove. Flop comes ace high, and he's drawn dead. We now have 240,000 on break. Feeling good. With blinds at 2,000, 5,000, 5,000, the recreational and middle position makes it 15,000 off a 200K stack. Action folds to me in the big blind. I have ace, three of diamonds. It is a 3X, but I'm gonna put in the call. Let's see a flop. Flop comes king, nine, three. Two diamonds, we got a pair and a flush draw. Here we go. I check and he checks. The turn is a five of diamonds. We got the nuts, so I don't think he's too strong, but we want to build the pot, so just bet 20,000. Hope to keep him interested. He probably has some showdown value, or else he would have bluffed. He calls. The river's a queen. Now I could go for just a uh, you know, small value, maybe 40,000, or we can polarize our hand strength into bluff or nuts. I make it 75,000. He calls with Jack 10, and we now have 400,000. How about Tommy, Tommy, going to get him? With blinds at 4,000, 8,000, action folds to an Asian male age 25 to 35 who might have top five the World Series of Poker main event a few years ago. He shoves all in for 106,000. His range is wide. We have 350,000 in the big blind and king queen of clubs. 15, 16 blinds, pretty easy call with the big blind anti-format. We put in the call and he has ace king offsuit. Flop comes king nine three all spades. Turns a five. The river is a deuce, and we're now down to 240,000 chips. 27 players remaining. New table, redraw at 27 always. I'm in middle position, and I open up ace, jack, offsuit to 18,000 at 4,000, 8,000. Guy on my left flat calls off a 200K stack. Short stack shoves all in for 80K. Action's back to us. Some dead money out there. Should be flipping versus range. We shove all in, original caller folds. We're up against pocket eights. Flop comes jack, seven, deuce. Turn is a three. 
The Rivers are five, and we eliminate a player, and we now have 330,000. 24 players are remaining. Let's stay focused, make it to the final table. Put blinds at 8,000, 16,000. Action folds to the cutoff, who has a 500K stack. He makes it 36,000. I'm in the small blind with just over 350,000. Ace King offsuit. Could shove, but I think I'd rather induce from ace queen, ace jack type hands. Or he might make some bad flats and we can continue profitably post flop with a one to one stack to pot ratio. So after I make it 100,000, he shoves all in. And of course I call, he shows pocket eights, the flop comes. Ace high, turn and river are bricks and we double. We now have 750,000. With blinds at 10, 25, 25, we're nine handed. I'm under the gun plus two with ace queen offsuit and 600,000 chips. Make it 60,000 to go. Action folds in middle position. A guy from Ireland that seems to be tweaking on Adderall or Coke or something. And he makes it 170,000 off a 800K stack. There are two other stacks that are similar to mine, around 500,000. Action folds back to me. What do you guys do? Shove or fold? Let me know in the chat. I tank, fold it. We're still nine-handed. I've been folding my way down. Action folds to the other shorter stack, Tim, in the small blind. He has 285k at 10k, 25k, and he shoves all in. We look down at Ace and Deuce offsuit. We have 380k, so if we call and we're wrong, we still have some chips to work with. I put in the call. He shows the five, three of spades. Flop comes Ace high, and he's drawing dead on the turn. We now have. 800,000 chips. Maybe he's being your friend. You make it, it's not big with aces, so he's tanked. So he with blinds at 15,000, 30,000, 30,000. Action folds to the small blind, Mr. Massey, who puts in the limp. I'm in the big blind with 750K. And he needs jack offsuit, so we're going to go for value. Make it 90,000. He thinks for about a minute and puts in the old limp raise to 255,000. Are we getting cooler? Is he making a move? He started the hand with about a million chips. Gross, gross spot. There is one short stack with 300K. Eight handed. And I put in the fold. With blinds at 20, 40, 40, well, action folds to me in the cutoff, and I look down at pocket jacks. Of course, I shove all in. Tweaker from Ireland is in the small blind, and he puts in the call. He shows pocket sevens. The board runs out. All bricks, and we get a full double up. We're over one million chips. <laughs>
with blinds at 25,000, 50,000. I believe we're six handed. Action folds to the cutoff. Jonathan Dimmig, he shoves all in for 700,000. I'm in the small blind with 1 million. An ace king offsuit, you know we're all in. Big blind folds and we're up against 10, nine off. The board comes 8, 8, 5. The turn is a six. And the river is a three. We eliminate a player and we now have 1.8 million chips. Big blind versus blind battle, four handed, pocket sixes versus ace king of Pearl Jammer. He suited to spades. They get it all in pre for like three million or something. Pearl Jammer flops a flush, and the other guy's drawing dead. Immediately, Terry asks for chip chop numbers, which Matt, the floor man, happily obliges, gives us the numbers, and they're right here. Pearl Jammer immediately tries to big time us and say, yeah, I'll look, but I, I'm probably not gonna agree to him. I stay silent and just see what, everybody, see what these guys are saying. You know, I'm gonna gather information. Hopefully I can get more than Chip Chop or negotiate other stuff. We'll see. Pearl Jammer proposes we take 4K out of each place and play for additional 12K after the chop, he must think we're stupid. Since he has the big chip lead, he's the favorite to win that extra 12K. That's off the table. And uh, he doesn't want to uh, do a chop. He thinks he's better than me and Terry, so let's play. Chip chop declined. No 32K locked up for me. Let's play for 52K and the trophy. With blinds at 30,000, 60,000, 30,000. We're three-handed. I have 1.8 million. Terry on my left has about 3 million. And Pearl Jammer has the remainder. Total of just over 9 million. Chips in play. I look down and pocket tens on the button. Make it 125,000 to go. I'm excited. Scary Terry makes it 500,000. What a dream scenario. Pearl Jammer folds. I go into the tank, feign weakness to get a call from smaller pairs, ace X type shit. And I shove all in. He doesn't seem to like it, but he puts in the call. He shows pocket jacks. And this is what happens. Is that a good board? Good game, Terry. I win $22,500, no trophy, no chop, just third place in a almost 500 person field or so. Can't be too mad, but let me tell you, it doesn't feel great. It's 11.30 at night. I played for just over 10 hours yesterday, almost 12 hours today, and really played my heart out, stayed focused, barely checked my phone. A lot of great reads, a lot of big laydowns, a lot of a lot of spots I could have punted it off, or been right, but showed a lot of discipline. Waited for those real money spots. I definitely don't regret getting in with tens, three-handed, for uh, thirty blinds. Pretty damn standard. Pretty sick cooler and run out. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Make make sure you hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you're not logged in. Request your damn password, log in, like, subscribe, and comment. Get interactive. Until next time, I'm out.